Missionaries Bill and Margaret Loving, accompanied by a small group of African guides, made their way with great difficulty through a dense jungle to a remote and isolated village. The Lovicks persevered with undaunted zeal, knowing that these precious villagers had never heard the name of Jesus Christ, nor had they heard about God's love for them. After Bill and Margaret arrived at their destination, the villagers that came out to meet them were friendly, they were welcoming, and they were curious, especially because they had never seen a white person in all of their, <laughs> in all of their lives. The Lovicks had studied various African languages. They spoke fluent French, but they did not know one word of the dialect that these people spoke. So they wasted no time. They moved into their primitive hut and went right to work learning to speak the language of the villagers. It was three months before Bill attempted to preach to the villagers, and he had decided he was going to preach and explain to them what John 3.16 meant. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But there was one problem. Bill didn't know the word for love in their dialect. So he thought that he, he, he could ask one of the villagers. There was a man in the villages, an elderly gentleman, who had eight wives, so said, surely he knows about love. So he went to this man after a formal greeting. He asked the elder, elderly gentleman how he felt about his wives. He proudly began to point them out one by one, saying, this is my first wife. She is very valuable. I gave a cow for her. My third wife is very good. I gave a sheep for her. My youngest wife did not, <laughs> didn't cost me anything, but she is mean and fights with the others. I wish they would take her back. The man with many wives had no idea how to explain love to Bill. A few days later, Bill and Margaret heard a young woman singing near their hut in the middle of the night. Bill went outside, and there by the stream was a young 13-year-old girl washing her newborn baby in the river. Bill, who was still trying to find a word for love, asked the young mother, what do you feel for this baby? She responded, I feel strong from the top of my head down to where my feet scratch the earth. My whole being feels strong for this child. That was the missing link in Bill's sermon. Now Bill was ready to preach to the Africans. He said to them, God, the creator of all mankind, felt strong from the top of his head down to where his feet scratched the ground for all people. And he gave his only son for them. Many of the villagers understood his message. And three men became followers of Jesus that day. Thus, a great work for the Lord began among these beautiful people. The eyes of the villagers were opened through Bill's message. They felt strength for God, and they become dedicated followers of Jesus Christ. We are all born for love. It is the principle of existence and its only end. For me, myself, I first felt strength for God at 520 in the morning on August the 14th when I dropped to my knees in an empty lot between two houses on 14th Street in Bedford, Indiana, while high on LSD. That morning, I saw two things that changed my life forever. Number one, I saw the de despicable, disgusting person that I had become. If that would have been all that I had seen that night, there really would have been no hope for me. But I saw something else. In spite of the disgusting person that I was, God loved me anyway. God loved me anyway. Um, during those moments of agony and despair, I experienced God's love in my life. And I've never been the same since. Let me tell you this today. God loves you. He feels strength for you from the top of his head to where his feet scratches in the dirt of the earth. God loves you. I don't care what you're going through, what you're facing, what the situation is, whether you're saved or, or not, God loves you and he wants to help you through everything that you're going through. I wanna pray with you today and just ask God's blessing on your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these, this person who's listened listening to me today, heard this message, 
and needed to hear that God loved them. I pray that you'll touch everyone, and especially that person that's longing and needing and looking and searching for purpose and meaning. Move in every life today that hears this message, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us today for another Just a Thought.